friends and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be setting up my last three spreads in my 2022 journal. I need you to smash that subscribe button for more bullet journaling content that I have coming out and trust me I have some fun videos coming out that you're not going to want to miss. Let's jump into creating my last three spreads of 2022. I'm starting off my last three pages of 2022 with a page that is all my memories that stand out to me this year and I really can't wait to look back on this in years to come or even in a few months once we're already in the new year. I just think it will be so fun to look back on and I hope I can remember to do this every year because I will definitely be thankful that I did later on. And for those of you who maybe don't bullet journal or do it a little differently, you could totally just write this on a piece of paper or or write it in the notes of your phone and look back at on it each year and I think that would be so special and I can't wait to fill out this page so I'm just doing my normal cursive handwriting as you probably saw and then I'm just thickening it on the downstrokes like a faux calligraphy and then here I'm taking a Tombow dual brush pen and switching it up so I can do fun colors with my lettering so I wrote year in green and then I'm doing memories in this light gray color I really encourage you to purchase personalize this to yourself and your style and how you do things if you do do a bullet journal and if you do add this page to your own because I think it could be so much fun with maybe your color palette or your doodles or washi tape or stickers or whatever. I just feel like this page if you really personalize it to yourself it would just be so much fun to look back on later on and know kind of your style back in that year. So this year I'm just doing this minimal colors and washi tape if you have seen my 2023 bullet journal setup you'll know I love these colors and I use them for that setup as well which I'll link that video in the description box for you to watch after this one if you need some yearly bullet journal setup ideas or if you just want some overall bullet journal inspiration but then here on the right hand side I'm doing a goals page for 2023 now I did put a page like this in my yearly setup for 2023 but I thought it would be fun to have one in my 2022 journal just so I could look back on it and see my goals if I ever wanted to look at that journal specifically so yeah once I had done that I added my border and I tried to do a different color but the all kind of went cohesively all together but I did a different color for each page once I added the washi tape I moved on to my last page of this setup for the year and I did this light gray color around as the border and then I went in with this brownish color and wrote December now this page is just gonna be for my favorite parts of December because I feel like it's such a busy month with the holidays and everything going on that I wanted a page just dedicated to my favorite part of that time of year and I'm really excited to fill out all of the pages and now I'm just going in and doing the same calligraphy I did on both of the other pages so they're all cohesive once I've thickened it and added the washi tape they will all match and go nicely together and I'll give you a quick flip through as soon as I'm done with writing this All right guys, that's it for my last three setups of 2022. Let me show you them one more time really quickly. The three pages that I decided to do is a memories that stand out for this year. I can put all of that right here and just a few that really stand out to me. And then goals for 2023, along with this page that says favorite part of December. So those are the three pages that I ended up doing for the end of the year. Some people did suggest in the comments of some of my other videos to do kind of highlight pages like this. So I kind of made that my own here and I really like how it turned out. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe button down below. Don't forget the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos because I have some fun bullet journal content coming out soon. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!